from the KATC Weatherland, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, astronomical winter officially gets here, also known as the winter solstice at 1028 tomorrow morning, but it's still going to feel spring like as we finish out the week going into the weekend, though, feeling certainly colder after a wet Saturday, and it should be nice and crisp for our Christmas. More on that in just a bit. First off, though, let's address what happened last night and early this morning. Showers and storms moving across the area as a weak frontal boundary, but we still want warmed up nicely this afternoon, but with those showers and storms, we had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in northern portions of Acadiana into the northwestern sections of the area. In fact, uh, there were uh, there was a tornado warning for this cell that went over to Quincy. It really balled up nicely. The velocities uh, look pretty impressive as I was tweeting and Facebooking about this late last night. And sure enough, uh, the National Weather Service went out to De Quincy to survey uh, wind damage, and they did find an EF1 tornado tornado with 100 mile per hour winds that was on the ground for 4.7 miles and a pretty uh, pretty wide tornado 600 yards wide did damage at the air park power lines and trees were downed as well and damage to uh, numerous homes uh, the roofs and the uh, windows so it was a pretty nasty storm last night as that storm moved off generally to the north and east but it weakened as it pushed off to the north and east but it eventually produced another tornado as uh, that same cell got into Mississippi late late last night early this morning. Right now all things have calmed down. Temperatures at 71 still still balmy calm winds. A dew points in the upper 50s and temperatures will drop quickly into those upper 50s later on tonight. So I do expect visibility to be dropping and some dense what we call radiative fog or radiational fog to develop uh, through tomorrow morning. Temperatures touching a record high this afternoon, officially 79 shortly after two this afternoon, which tied the record set back some time ago. You have to watch the almanac. I can't remember the date, but it was warm out there and as warm as it gets this time of year, upper 60s to lower 70s now. Meanwhile, conditions offshore initially rough early this morning settling down and nearly calm winds later on tonight should set the uh, stage for some dense fog with visibilities going down to a mile now we show you future cast contours here but these are ICAST data points so visibilities could go as low as, as near zero through tomorrow morning so allow extra time to get where you're going make sure you use the low beams and that fog will burn off pretty quickly after about 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning so there you see the fog developing on future cast again favoring uh, the eastern sections of Acadiana. We could have a dense fog advisory for later on tonight posted later on. Then tomorrow a little sun early but clouds coming in tomorrow afternoon is essentially a warm front moves across the area. We have a slight rain chance in the forecast tomorrow afternoon but not likely. And then as we head into Friday even warmer with southerly winds showers and storms begin to form off to our north and west. That'll be moving on through as we go into Saturday during the morning into the afternoon hour and then we'll be chilling down thereafter. Temperature wise tonight, cooler for sure. Lower 50s most spots, upper 40s to the north. Then tomorrow, low to mid 70s, depending on how much sun we see before the clouds return. Milder tomorrow night, back into the mid 60s for your low for Friday morning and Friday afternoon, mid to upper 70s. Enjoy it because it will be chilling down this weekend. So clear early, dense fog setting in after midnight in many spots. Lower 50s, your low. We'll have an update you on the fog later on tonight, then tomorrow morning fog and then giving way to some midday sun, but clouds are turning late. A little bit of a mishmash. Temperatures could be upper 60s to mid 70s, depending on that cloud cover during the day tomorrow. Upper 70s for sure on Friday, an 80% chance of rain and storm Saturday. I don't think we see severe weather nor heavy rainfall. And then we're chilling out Sunday. I think it's going to feel a lot colder than the 50s we have here. We might be in the 40s for a good part of the day. And then Christmas morning, we work up, we wake up up to 35 degrees with a high Christmas afternoon. Lots of sunshine, lower 50s. We briefly get warmer Wednesday. That should say 68, by the way, as we get into the latter part of next week with uh, maybe chillier air on the way for the last week, weekend of 2017. Of 2017 so yeah. we're going to have those up and down temperatures and mm -hmm. everybody's going to have the sinus issues going on. It's if, already started. If, if it's not already started. Right. Thanks, Rob. Still ahead on KT.